what is up, pissed off Akali Mains Nation? I'm your host, Professor Akali. Let's get right into the news. No, but seriously though, guys, we're not going to have too much of the sword this time. We're going to go straight into the news, the Akali World News. Akali's changes have been officially released, and I'm going to tease you guys for a little bit longer before I show you exactly what it is. Basically, in case you didn't know, in case you're living under a rock, Akali is currently at the highest ban rate of any champion right now, and she has the lowest win rate, right? Oh, oh, no? Okay, so Rise has a slightly lower win rate. Anyways, she's got the highest ban rate, lowest win rate. It's hilarious. As an Akali main myself, I think it's very fun because I can't play her, and when I can play her, we're not going to get into that. But what we are going to get into is the fact that Riot has finally started reworking her Shroud. They haven't removed the True Stealth, but this is what they're planning on doing. So, Riot, uh, yeah, Mark Yetter, Riot Scruffy, lead gameplay designer for League of Legends, he said that they are testing some changes to a Kali Shroud to give opponents more options to retaliate against her. Slightly longer time delay before she stealths, so when you re-stealth, it's going to take longer. Spells partially through their cast time will complete instead of cancel, and this is huge, the more bigger than a lot of you will realize, but I'm going to explain why. And Akali shows a shimmer of herself briefly after stealthing. So, um, so she doesn't have stealth anymore. I'm just okay, that, that's definitely an over exaggeration, but let me just quickly explain what all this means. So, slightly longer time delay before she stealths. If it's what I think it is, because right now it's about a little bit more than half a second to re stealth. Uh, after you stop attacking, a turret uh, attacks about every 0.8 seconds, I believe. If they increase it uh, just a little bit more, now you can't actually weave uh, autos and cues between turret attacks. So basically, you can't tower dive people as efficiently anymore. That is a huge nerf in itself. But now, uh, also, on top of that, it's just, you know, whenever you want to make plays, like 1v3s, like, you, we want to make crazy plays with a Kali Shroud, it's just not going to be there anymore because of this. Uh, if it's not going to be there because of this, just wait until we go on to the next two things. So, this right here, spells partially through their cast time will complete instead of cancel. This is so bad for Akali right now for so many reasons. So, in case you guys don't play too much Akali, basically the way it works right now is if Darius casts his R and you go invisible halfway, because you know, he's got that load up, that, that cast time, he, he, starts throw, he throws his axe like a million feet into the air and then he brings it down. If you go invisible right now before this patch goes live um in the middle of him casting his ult it just completely cancels out and nothing happens same with lisa and ult i've actually outplayed so many Lee Sin's, it's hilarious um because they try to kick you but you go invisible halfway into the animation but no longer um all this stuff you know i think cassiopeia's e is another good example there's a million different things that are just now going to go through which is actually just a giant nerf to a collie giant nerf um Seems to be more toppling champions because I think Garen ult is the same way. But anyways, uh, this sucks. But let's move on to the next thing. Akali shows a shimmer of herself briefly after stealthing. So now, um, if you throw skill shots out on top of you know targeted spells being able to go through now. Now if you if you have skill shots out, even if she's invisible, uh, you'll be able to see her for a nice little bit because it'll show a little shimmer, which is a few pixels of herself as a. Uh, Riot Scruffy does go into detail in the comments. So, you know, uh, big things are happening to Akali right now. My concern is that I don't think this is going to lower her ban rate at all. Um, well, um, not at all, but it's going to barely lower her ban rate, and it's going to hurt Akali so much that I'm thinking uh, instead of it being, you know, a 43% win rate and 60% ban rate, I'm thinking it's going to be a 55% ban rate and a 20% win rate. But seriously, though, something crazy like that uh, with all these changes. So with that in mind, um, I think what has to happen for the ban rate to lower is she needs to lose her true stealth under turret. I just don't see uh, any other changes working. Personally, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. You know, I'm def I've been wrong before. Also, here's what Pink Ward, a very famous YouTuber and streamer, has to say about the Akali changes to Akali Shroud and everything else. <laughs> Akali means are so fucked. Uh, but yeah, you know, personally, people have asked, and you know, if you guys don't agree with this following opinion, it's okay. I just, this is my opinion, people have been asking about it. I do think Akali should just be uh, reverted because... 
I think it's just been a nightmare for Riot dealing with a, a bouncing a Kali. Like, this is not an, a new city stack. This is not new. Uh, we'll go back a uh, previous patch. Her ban rate is 70% with a 45% win rate. We'll go back another patch. Her ban rate is 70% with a 45% rate. 70% ban rate. She's banned in every seven every ten, out of in seven of ten games. Um, and yeah, the reason being is because people associate her with that broken champion. That oh, you tower dive. Uh, you you get away with tower diving. You can't see her and under turret. Uh, you can't counter her shroud. All that stuff. Um, it just needs to go because otherwise it's just you know. Uh, it's just not going to get better. So that's just my opinion. Uh, would either, you know, get rid of True Stealth, which is what I think the more practical thing would be to do, or uh, revert her because uh, I just think that this is going to be a nightmare because I still think even when they remove True Stealth, her banner is going to be nuts. She still has just too many tools. She has too much mobility. Everything about her is just completely nonsensical to play against. Uh, and I don't think True Stealth is the only thing. I think it's a big part, but like maybe like 40 to 60% of it. So that leaves a lot of room for people to get pissed off. Anyways, let's move on to the comments of this Twitter post. So not fully locked down, but we hope to get these into the patch, uh, into the patch before the end of the year. So this is coming very soon. The changes to the W, the RIP Akali's W is coming very soon. Also, she certainly will need some buffs later on once we see how much effect these have on live. And I actually did talk to him a little bit and you guys will see that I gave him a few suggestions because uh, well, I'll go into that in a second so uh, on that note this tweet was on December 8th which was two three days ago now um, and the next thing that he said was and this actually ties into something else he actually mentioned that they're going to be changing more of a Kali and Aurelia's mechanics so major things are about to change uh, and they also mentioned Aurelia. So Aurelia is also getting a mini rework. What are they going to change about Aurelia? I have no clue, but I'm very excited because I think it's going to be fun. So uh, yeah, that's going to be that. Aurelia will more likely land a 9.2 and Akali either an 8.24 or 9.1. So they're saying uh, Aurelia is going to land a little bit into Season 9 and Akali is going to land later into preseason, uh, probably in the next few weeks. So... I asked uh, Riot Maple Nectar, um, I asked him, at any chance you can elaborate which direction Riot is considering compensating or buffing Akali after these W nerfs go live? Um, or is that to be determined after data is gathered post nerf? So I was thinking, you know, maybe they have to see what her win rate is, uh, what where she's struggling, where she's succeeding. And they're still thinking, um, they're not exactly sure. They're trying to figure out what compensation to give without making it so you can't still actually change, so you still can't change your Twitter name. My uh, my name was 100% ban rate Akali, or Professor Akali on Twitter. Uh, but anyways, he asked what I think uh, could be buffed without her being an issue. So I was thinking, you know, if you give her more damage, it's not going to fix any problems. You could give her a few quality of life changes to make her more fluid, more uh, fun to play at the same time, and still not make her, like, broken. So what I was thinking was you could either remove or reduce the cast time between uh, your first part of your ult and your second part. So maybe you can ult, ult, instead of ult, one, two, three, ult, um, something like that. Or maybe increase the speed of your E1 cast, so throw out your star faster, or increase the speed in which you dash to targets. Um, those are two things that I think would be really cool and make her so much more fun to play, because those are the clunky things about her. Like, let's be real, these are all the clunky things about Akali right now. Honestly, she does so much damage. I wouldn't really mess with that. I would just want uh, quality of life changes for fluidity, make her more fluid. Um, but, you know, as I mentioned, all everyone wants is true stealth removed. Maybe you could even increase the shroud duration back to eight, eight seconds and not remove the ability to fizzle out Darius's ult and Lee Sin ult, etc. So I'm saying don't do this shit. Just bring back or just get rid of true stealth. Um, but at the same time, you know, when they reworked Akali, that's kind of like the big thing about her. It's like, you know, that's what makes this Akali unique uh, compared to every other champion. And it's why it'd have to be the final thing they do before they say, you know what, Akali is a nightmare to balance. I'm not do I'm we're not dealing with this anymore. Goodbye, True Stealth. Um, and I changed my name to uh, Fangirl. Uh, anyways, uh, honestly, reverting the Shroud duration seems pretty reasonable depending on how the changes land. So they they're gonna consider it. Uh, Basically, that's, that's pretty much it. They're going to consider it. 
Um, so that is going to be that for these changes. Also, really quick, just wanted to mention because, you know, some crazy stuff is happening very soon. Other than that Aurelian rework, the mini rework they're going to do to her, and um, Akali getting mechanic changes and her W is just getting gutted to the ground. Um, they're buffing Foley Bear, Aurelian Soul, Singed Warwick, Corky, Varus. Uh, all these champions that are just so not meta right now. Uh, the outer turrets and MR and armor post 14 minutes is going to be buffed, which is awesome because honestly, it was way too easy to kill turrets post 14 minutes. And the forbidden idol item line. So, supports, AP supports, good for you. They're nerfing Tiamat, which a lot of people didn't expect, but I think it makes sense. It's just such a good item. Uh, Cassidy is getting nerfed, makes sense. He's in a good spot. Cassiopeia, didn't see that coming. Alistar makes sense, Zeke's makes sense, and Pike mid um, makes sense because literally people are getting like 95% win rates in Challenger. It's not it's not pretty. Pike is way too strong mid. And then a bunch of AD carries will be buffed very soon uh, in the near future. So for the, you AD carry mains out there, this is going to be a better season than uh, what you've been used to for the past few months. So that's pretty much going to be that. So you know what, I guess on that note, um, that's going to be it for this video. If I can find my swords, uh, wait, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be on the lookout. If Akali doesn't get the justice she deserves, I am going to bring all my elite Arbiter friends and no, and uh, we're going to balance and play in some league until it gets fixed. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the face cam, if you enjoyed the updates, Please be sure to leave a like. It's going to really help me out a lot. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in a new video. Peace.